Ashford. Mick Wilson with Dan Brownlee after a 3 0 win away at Ashford. And Dan, not pretty that one, but you just keep ticking off these wins. No, far from pretty. Um, I thought the, the opening 15, 20 minutes, they were. They certainly had the better chances, arguably the better side based on that. Um, I think a, a, a lack of finishing quality in a, in a, in a moment and um, I know their lads are capable so they'll be disappointed on that and, and some goods made saves made by Strud. So uh, we ran our luck a little bit in the opening 10-15 but I thought once we got to grips with the second ball I felt like we felt far more comfortable um, and from there it kind of gave us a platform to, to move on and the goal came from um, a great little run, a little third man run into the final area and it's another good finish. So um, yeah, certainly didn't have it our own way, uh, but a, a fine three points and some good moments and some good goals. And a rare game in which neither Brad Wilson nor George Reid scored, but you've got <laughs> the midfield chipping in to, to cover them when they're not. Yeah, it's good. Um, we've not relied on Brad and Reedy, but it, it, they've, they've scored a lot of goals, obviously, uh, being in the, in, the, in the top echelons of the, the league scoring charts. Um, but, I mean, Dunny scoring today, he, he's been close so often, um, and he does get into that little pocket really well, and if it's not a goal, usually someone's tapping it in the back post. So um, his goals have been coming, and, and yeah, you're right, Cookie, again today, if he's not been scoring, he's been assisting recently, so he's in a, in a fine uh, Bain of form, but to be honest, it's it's across the pitch. Like I, I said it before the game, to, to those that, that weren't starting, to the likes of Sammy Argent, uh, like, who's done absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, he's been brilliant when he's been playing. But um, Hodgie's got five and seven. Cookie's pretty much an assist or a goal a game at the minute. Jimmy's done brilliantly. Michael Dunny, you know what they're about. So at the moment, I'm in a really fortuitous position that the decision makings are made by small margins, but they're all positive. Um, and I think across that front four, even in the midfield to be perfectly honest, the likes of uh, Dre Brown and Co, we've, we could pretty much be pulling names out of a hat and have a really good 11. So um, we're in a good position, we're in, we're in good form and, and the fact that we're getting bodies back as well now, we're pretty much a full squad today which is really good. Um, so yeah, ticking a lot of boxes and a, a pleasing win and an even better, better result. Speaking about Paul Hodges and Ben Cook there and the runs they've been on since they've come in, how important is it for them to get those mid-season signings that can really push you on to both team? Yeah, I think it is. I, I, it's a difficult one because they have to be right. You know, it's it's not just a case of making a sign-in for the sake of it to, and hoping that something spurs on. That obviously, the, the mould and the fit of Cookie, who's been here before, we, we know he fits in culturally. And and Hodgie, I knew that that was that was going to be exactly the same. But the fact that they've hit the ground running and, and showed their qualities, it's uh, it's remarkable what the, what those two have done in, in in fitting in so quickly. Because even for Cookie, I, I'd say that he's been here before. He's not played with half the players that, that played out there today. So um, yeah, they, they've both been terrific. Um, but again, you can say that across the board. I mean, for, for all the plaudits that the, the front four are getting, again, that's another clean sheet. Uh, good performance from Strud's in goal. The back four limited them after we, we rode our luck in the first 10 to very few chances. So um, across the pitch, we're, we're doing really well. And again, the subs make a difference. So um, yeah, Hodgie and, and Cookie have been great. And you're right, uh, long way around the, the houses with this answer. But, but I think the, the big thing is that it gives you a it just gives you an, a, a new kind of enthusiasm and new options and I think Hodgie's done that and particularly as we've, believe it or not, still not seen the best of him. Um, he's been fantastic but I know what that guy's capable of and, and the same with Cookie and the same with all of them, you know. Um, so it, it does breed in a, a new bit of enthusiasm for us which is a, a great time to, to, to find that. We've got a big game coming up next, it's Northwood away. That's going to be one, they have a very specific style of play that you have to find a way of combating and that will be another really tricky test. Yeah, it will be. Um, it's going to be a slightly different uh, case from the home game. Um, and I thought I thought Northwood were, were brilliant. Obviously, they had Sydney Ivy, they, they, they've lost. Um, but they, they play some really good football and, they, they, and you're right, their, their style is, is incredibly organised. Um, I think when we played in the home game, I think we had Ashley Artwell, James Clark and Stefan Brown as a midfield three. Um, which is obviously a very attacking midfield three and, and, and other than Jimmy, probably the only person that's kind of natural in that position. Um, so, we, so it will be a new game, it will be a new test and I, th I think we'll have different challenges but again this team has faced many a before. Um, you look at Marlow, Chertsey, Binfield, like this, this run that we're on that people keep talking about. It's great um, but it, within that we've had some really tough tests, you know, uh, even Tootin and Mitchum despite their lowly position, made a real game of it. So um, we've had to work hard for where we, we are today and, and non-met continue. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve.